Okay, so we're just covering right now lab one program three or part three of a program with persistent persistent data. Okay, so this is really similar to a uh, program two we did just a uh, just before. Uh, the only difference is that we're going to need um, another counter, which is going to call counter t, which means a counter for the digits, and we're going to create a float variable called percent and uh, we're just gonna initialize it as zero just to know what there is in it and um, another thing we need to do is just add this library here okay that library is ctype.h it's a library that gives us um, a few useful functions okay that you're gonna see just now so uh, again basically what we do we uh, also have a character c and a file fp okay so then what we do is we're just gonna open the file fp as uh, so again, this location uh, with reading permissions, we're gonna check if the file is FP is null. Is it? Is it F, if it's F, if it's null, it's going to give us an error. And if it's not null, uh, we're just gonna run this. Okay. So if it's not null, okay, we're just gonna go through the while loop again. So we're going to get a. Um, we're gonna assign again one equal this assignment. So we're just gonna get character by character from this a file FP, and a we're gonna assign it to C. Okay, so first character will be assigned the first time it runs. See, something happens. Go up again. So, um, assign the second character to C. Some something happens, and we all go up again, and then and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so then. Okay, so what happens, right? We check if C is the end of the file, okay? Because if it's in the end of the file, we just want to get the fuck out of that loop, okay? So we just break the loop, okay? Um, if it's not the end of the file, uh, we're just gonna check if um, if a C is a digit, okay? So is digit is a function that comes with C type dot H, okay? That is just included here, and it's a really useful function because um, it's gonna return true if the parameter here is a digit, so if it's 1 to 9, or I suppose 10, 11, or, and if it's not a digit, it's going to return false, okay? So if it's a digit, we're, this is going to get executed, so counter D++, so we're just going to add one to the digit, and also, we're going to add one to the counter characters, I guess, because we have to count how many characters there is in that file, okay? Then after that, we're going to have to check we're just gonna well we close the file okay that's just for safety you know just, just precautions just in case you don't want to mess up the file you know so if it's closed you can't really mess it up can you so um then what we're gonna do we're gonna print f we're gonna print the number of characters okay we're gonna like, print the number of count um, of digits and we're gonna do this equation okay so basically what we're doing is we're just a um, we're gonna cast okay because we need everything to be flows to cast the, so we need counter d to we need to cast it and what casting it means is that it's gonna create just for a second, well, just for the the time this runs, this variable is gonna become flows just for a second. If I check what kind of variable counter, um, this here, uh, is gonna give me an int because an int, okay, it's just gonna it's just gonna become an int, it's gonna become a float for a second, okay, um, and um, we need to get the percentage of how many digits of the total characters there is, okay. So to get the percentage, basically, we need to divide uh, the number of digits by the number of characters and multiply by 100, right? So that's just simple maths, you know, primary school maths. And then we need to check if the number, if the percentage is more than 20, okay? If it is more than 20, we're going to have to print too many numbers. And if it isn't, nothing's going to print, okay? So um, if we save it and we run it, okay? It's program 3, as I said before. That's just warnings, just forget about them. And then it's gonna say characters 142 digits 30 to my numbers. Okay. Um if we were to change the file now, just to see if it's working. Well I know it's working, but and then I just copy and paste the whole sentence here. I suppose that won't be more than 20%. The digits. If I run it again, it's gonna give me characters 257. I didn't add any digits, so it's gonna be thirty, but it's not gonna give me this message here, okay? So therefore, it is working, okay? So that's it. Easy peasy.